Apple has built themselves a good reputation when it comes to computers. They're fast, safe, and reliable. However, Apple hasn't exactly been known for having great mice. In fact, their mice are terrible, but how does it stack up against the mouse I use every day? This is William from Wink Tech, and this is my Apple Magic Mouse versus Logitech M720 comparison. For years, I used the standard mouse that comes with the iMac, the Apple Magic Mouse. And let me just say that the experience is less than magical. This prompted me to buy a new, better mouse from one of my favorite computer peripheral companies, Logitech. After researching for a good Logitech mouse and waiting for a good deal, I finally decided on the M720. I've been using it for about 8 months now and I love it. Even though the Magic Mouse might not be for me, I thought I would do a comparison in case someone else is looking to get an Apple Magic Mouse or a mouse upgrade in general. I bought the M720 on sale for $50 Canadian, but it normally costs $70. The Apple Magic Mouse is $100 for the second generation, which is worse in my opinion due to some questionable design choices. Let's start with the design. The Magic Mouse has a simple aesthetic design with Apple's signature white and silver aluminum. It looks really nice if you like minimalistic setups and complements the iMac and Apple keyboard really well. The mouse itself is also very minimal with no visible buttons, just a single piece of glass. With the Logitech Mouse, you're getting a very modern but more traditional mouse design with the grey soft touch plastic and white bottom. It goes well with most setups because of its low key design but it looks especially nice with black setups such as my own. Either one will look great on your desk, it really comes to preference here. Next, let's talk about the actual buttons and features on these. The Apple Mouse, of course, only really has one button, but can still differentiate between right and left clicks. The clicks are kind of loud, but it feels nice to press. There is no scroll wheel, but the special thing about the Apple Mouse is that it has touch controls. The touch controls is the greatest appeal of the Apple Mouse. It allows you to easily switch between windows, scroll, and move around images with basic gestures such as pinching, zooming, and swiping. Apple's touch controls are all fine and dandy, but they come with compromise. The Logitech spares no expense with just about every feature under the sun. It has quiet, tactile buttons and a smooth scroll wheel which is a lot more satisfying than touch scrolling. It also has some customizable buttons on the side, as well as a button to switch between three Bluetooth connected devices. But of course, you still have the option of using the unifying receiver. The buttons are customizable through the Logitech Options software that is available on their website. The mouse also has something called hyper scrolling, which unlocks the scroll wheel so you can whip through that terms and conditions because let's be honest, nobody reads those, even though we should. Tracking is great on both mice. I honestly don't feel much of a difference when it comes to tracking, so that isn't something to worry about. Battery life is a different story however, and Logitech has the clear edge on this one. The Apple mouse doesn't have a bad battery life, but I found myself replacing the two AA batteries every three months or so. As for Logitech, I'm yet to replace the batteries on it. It is after called the Triathlon. Now let's talk about Apple's compromise. The ergonomics are perhaps one of the most important parts of a computer mouse. If you spend a lot of time on the computer, you know it can get uncomfortable if you don't have a well-shaped chair or mouse. The Apple Magic Mouse is the double of ergonomic mice because it is almost completely flat with just a slight arc. You basically have to have eagle claws to use the mouse. The Logitech on the other hand has great ergonomics with a high arc and curves inwards for comfortable thumb placement. Just keep in mind this is for right handed people because the thumb placement is on the left so using it with your left hand is extremely awkward. I can easily use this mouse for long periods of time. So which mouse is better? Well there was never really a doubt. The Logitech M720 Triathlon clearly wins. It makes sense since the name implies that it is an athlete. Overall it just has more features, better ergonomics and a battery life that lasts an advertised 24 months on just a single AA battery. 
Now don't get me wrong, the Apple Magic Mouse isn't bad, and there are some people who actually enjoy using it. But if you really want touch controls, I recommend the Apple Magic Trackpad. Let me know what mouse you are currently using, and if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe for more tech comparisons like this one. This has been William from Wink Tech, and I'll see you in the next video.